two, one. Well, folks, we've got a really important day coming up on Thursday, May 6th. And I wanted to get this out in an email and have an opportunity to make sure folks know that this coming Thursday, May 6th is the National Day of Prayer. In addition to, in this email, you'll see the number of very important bills uh, that are going to be in front of the Education Committee and the Judiciary Committee. You'd think after 11 years, I could say Judiciary Committee better than that. Um, but we, uh, it's, it's really great that this is National Day of Prayer because we, we need a lot of prayer on Thursday here in Maine. But we have my friend as our guest uh, on this video, uh, Robin McLaughlin, who is heads up the National Day of Prayer, not just here in Maine, but what, what other states, Robin? Uh, it's the nine states in the Northeast. Okay. Um, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, you know, the nine states in the Northeast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, or as, as some people call the, the uh, spiritual wasteland of the United <laughs> States, but with a great spiritual heritage that we want to see revival again. And we know that's not going to happen without prayer. So I, I want the folks that are watching this to know that, uh, Robin, is this just, how many years have you actually been ahead of the National Day of Prayer? This is my sixth year. Okay. And before she actually took this mantle on his shoulder, I met Robin as a result of her devotion to prayer. She and Rick, they are just incredible prayer warriors, faithful people that, that love this state. Um, they, they love their Lord and they know how important it is for people to pray. So Robin, let, let's, let's kind of do some of the nuts and bolts stuff first. Um, if people want to know, because you and I are going to focus on Augusta a little bit, but if they want to know what's going on in their neck of the woods, as far as resources available to them or other events that are going on to Maine, how can they find out? Um, they can go on to nationaldayofprayer.org uh, website. And on there, there's a, a button where you press and it says events, and it will take you down and you put in your state and it will list all of the events going on in the state of Maine. Okay. If you cannot find an event in your town, you can actually go to the state of Maine website and my email address is there and you can email me because some of the people um, weren't, they wasn't able to get their event online. Right. Um, and I can forward you the information for that. Okay, so that's National Day of Prayer dot org and then you just put Maine in there and I know I've done that many times um, now we want to focus a little bit um, on our government and praying for our government on the national day of prayer because we should be praying all the time uh, but this is really following um, you know the exhortation that Paul gives many times uh, for us to pray for our leaders which are ordained by God that we might live peaceful lives and and uh, have a human dignity and uh, those type of things that God says you can expect when you're praying for your leaders. So we're going to be in Augusta, Robin. So uh, tell folks what they can expect and where they can meet if they want to come down to the National Day of Prayer event in Augusta. Okay, uh, we will be meeting at the little park that's between the Capitol building and the Cross building. It's mm -hmm. like right across from the museum. Um, we'll be there at 12 noon. Um, there'll be time this year. I'm actually incorporating corporate prayer as well, not just you standing there and watching other people, um, because I think that's a very important part that we all let our voices be heard to the Lord on behalf of our state and behalf of our people. Um, so we'll be doing that. Um, we will have some worship that as well. And I'm trying to be mindful of people's time. So we're trying to keep it until 1 p.m. So from 12 to 1, again, that is this Thursday, May 6th. So if you're familiar with the grounds, um, you have the cross building where all the offices are, but uh, and then you have the area between that and the actual Capitol building. So if you go up the stairs, if you're coming from the cross, and as Robin rightly said, head toward the museum, there's like a little round area over there with benches. And that's where we've been the last two or three years, uh, weather permitting. And I think we've been pretty fortunate for the most part not to have May showers. Uh, uh, during, during the rain. Um, so Robin, I know that, um, I guess, how would you encourage people? Why is it so important? And I know it sounds like a, like a softball question, but I mean, you and Rick invest an awful lot of time into encouraging, provoking, uh, organizing opportunities to prayer. Uh, why 
you know, just one day of the year, you know, what, why should people show up for something like this? Well, National Day of Prayer is very important because it actually became a law 70 years ago this year. Hmm. And so for we, especially in our state, in Maine, um, we are fighting to be able to continue to uh, maintain the laws that have held our state together. And one of them is public, pray public prayer. And so for me, for this year, I feel it's a very, very important thing for those that can to get out and, and be a part and participate as well as with other things. I mean, even these bills that need to be addressed, you know, contact your senators, contact your legislators. It's important that we do that. This is our state. They want to say it's theirs, but it's really ours. Mm -hmm. And prayer is the most important thing because it's the Lord that's going to heal um, the land and heal the people of this state. Yeah, and you're referencing, uh, you know, Second Chronicles seven fourteen, and God didn't call on the world to confess their sins and to prayer, but He called on His people to do that. And and I think in addition to prayer, Robin, it's a witness uh, when those legislators and those staffers are walking around to see people that they know, even if they don't agree, but know that they care enough to come out and really be praying for them. And Sorry. as you mentioned, boy, this Thursday we've got the transgender bills. We've got um, a lot of folks are really concerned about trying to uh, uh, offer relief to the fact that we've lost a religious exemption and our philosophical exemptions regard to vaccines. There's just a lot of bills going on on this Thursday in particular. So I would encourage you to please uh, join us. Um, I haven't been down Augusta a whole lot because of the uh, legislature being sequestered and Mike McClellan doing a great job filling in down there for us. But I, I just want to publicly thank Robin for her leadership and her commitment to prayer. But Robin, would you give uh, that um, website out again, how people can find out in addition to this event at noon down Augusta, how they can find out what's going on in Maine? Yes, it's nationaldayofprayer.org. And on there you go, there's an event button. You hit that button and then it will bring it up so you can type in the state of Maine and it will tell you where the events are. Great. Well, Robin, I know you're really busy. Both We try to tuck this in and get it out in an email to remind people. I look forward to seeing you down there and yes. God bless you. Uh, and again, folks, please prayerfully consider um, at least committing yourself to prayer that day, but find an event and show up and, and be a witness. Uh, and let's join together as we thank God for his blessings, but also pray for revival in May. Thank you. And we'll talk to you again soon.